go off is the staff. The staff is the symbol of authority. It holds the power to temper extremes. The staff uh, helps us find the right uh, course of action. You know, when you find yourself that sweet spot, being in the middle, and it is helping us to rebalance, or at the very least to maintain our balance. After we begin walking in that right direction, every beginning is kind of like slow and it's very very difficult for us to know if we are doing the right thing. The staff reminds you of the impermanence of all things and that your authority must come from your deep longing to serve. So how to let go of the staff? How to really deal with this difficulty? So you're probably caught in some kind of like balance obtaining kind of situation. Maybe you're found, uh, you found yourself between opposing forces or between masculine and feminine or between action and non-action, between two people, between two jobs, between two family members. You use this to your advantage as there can be no day without night and no low without high. And it cannot be no lie or wrong without right. So this is the time to take corrective action, beginning with your beliefs about what needs to be fixed or repaired. Let destiny take its course, nudging is slightly along. This is getting us into Pachamama. This thing really needs to die. So she actually represents the unconditional love, like unconditional love that Earth has for all her children, including the stones, the plants, animals, humans. That's the goddess of the Earth. So she also carries with herself the joy and pain that we taste during our brief time on this planet, during the karma that we want to live, during that engagement, action, adventure that we have signed for. So it needs to die. So you still believe that you have been cast out of the Garden of Eden. You believe that the forces and things and people are against you. That you may be motherless and that you are homeless. You suppose that you need to work very hard to survive or thrive. It's time to stop suffering. Let go of that old myth and realize you have been given the garden to rejoice and to become in steward. Honor your life and just say to yourself, I belong. Lower world is holding the hidden treasures of humanity. It's the place of darkness, but we can find the disowned parts. It's almost like you strip bare your soul. You said, it's okay, I'm needy, I want this, I crave this, I wish I had it. I wish I had the father who loved me. I wish I had mother who loved me. I wish my husband, my boyfriend and my wife, my girlfriend is there for me. We all have been there. We are missing just a little part. We are using the words such as twin flame, soulmates not realizing that one stream that we need to fix is us. So now the wisdom that we really need to do and acquire is it's time to unearth your hidden treasures. Do not make yourself small in order for others to like or accept you. Bring out the gems and precious stones that you have kept inside of your heart. They are even hidden from yourself. It is time to honor your past and recast your life as a heroic quest. As you journey into the lower world, you will be offered all the gifts of your ancestors, their struggles, the way they hurt, the way they lived, and the way they died. And all of these things will become blessings.
We are finally coming to your destiny. The reason why you have taken this reading and this path to get to somewhere where you really need to be. We are arriving to the smoky mirror. When this symbol arrives, you are invited to see beyond your own self. You need to acknowledge that. You need to pass the limits of your current ability to perceive and realize that we are living in a very interconnected world where events are orchestrated in divine order. Now it is time to trust, no matter what your current condition is, no matter what the world reflects back on you. You need to celebrate the beauty, you need to celebrate the darkness, the misery, and the courage. No matter where you are right now on your journey, know that some things are meant to be a mystery, which you are meant to understand through experience. So you need to take heart, for the smoky mirror will ultimately show you the beauty and wonder once the fog lifts distortion that you see now. In order to see extended reading for this, you need to click here. If this is all that you need to hear today, namaste. I love you.